going to remo remove the idle air control valve. Just two 10 millimeters. This is just to get it out of the way. And then there's this fitting up here, which was the same as the one that was down here. Pinch the sides, bring it back. Pinch this guy here. Move the plug. And you can just let this lay down here because there is another little line that's attached to it. Next, we're gonna grab a flathead and we're gonna disconnect the linkage just very easily. Try to get as high up as you can. Pop that off and then just lay that down as well. Next, we're going to remove this hose clamp here, push this hose off. Always remember it's easier to twist than it is to push it right off. There's this little hose back here that we're gonna remove. And then we're also going to lift up on this rail here, which has all the pigtails and everything for your injectors, just to get it out of the way so we can get to the bolts for the throttle body. I'm just filming more. I need a, probably need a shorter flathead, but we'll struggle for a second before I go grab one. Understand <laughs> that 10 foot trip is as long as 10 feet. Yeah, part of becoming a good mechanic is not being lazy and just grabbing the tool that makes the job easier. Your hose is a little split here. Uh, if I had another one, I'd give you one. Actually, we might. It's loose, I just made a little, little assistance pushing. Oh, this little guy back here, that guy just pushes off. And then this clip right here for the wiring. I don't know how to explain this, but just push on this little bit here. Be careful because they're fragile. And lift that up out of the way. And then for this one, you just got to be careful and pull. sensor in the middle of it which we might be able to leave this last one's always the one that fights all right so that's okay where it's at we just need enough to get down to the bolt center down here there's a little clip back here as you'll see there's a hard line right between uh, cylinders five and six there's a little hard line here and there's a little clip that you just grab a flathead push gently don't drop it this guy and all I did was put this here and just push back out uh, that will disconnect your your fuel line keep in mind that you're gonna lose fuel when you do this so we have a rag down here to try to catch what we can uh, make sure your engines not extremely hot or anything doing that but it should be okay that clip to the fuel line came off this hard line right back here it's very difficult to see but it's right there you'll find it with everything disconnected you go ahead and take your 11 millimeter and you need to disconnect the throttle bodies. To get to them, you need to go ahead and open them up using this lever here. And now you can get to those 11 millimeter bolts. You hold it. With cylinders two through six undone, you go over to cylinder one. It's a lot easier to get to on the outside. This one's a little bit of a fight. With the bottom row out, now you need to get to the, the bolts that attach the throttle bodies on the top. And to do that, take a magnet with your 11 millimeter. Get it onto the nut and then poke that through there. Loosen it. Yeah, you can loosen it. And then once it's loose, fish your nut out with the same magnet. That way it doesn't drop to the ground. Pull the nut out first, then put this back on. This will pull the socket will pull off the extension. Then you fish your thing back out, go to the next cylinder. For that last one, it's a real tight fit, but you can get to it the same way. To get to this last piece, 
You got three 10 millimeter bolts here. Take out this, this plastic and then you can get to it a lot easier. So to be clear, this is the plastic piece we're referring to. Remove that and then you can get to the last one very easily. With all that disconnected, get your towel down and we're gonna remove this throttle body. There's the fuel and he's letting it come out, bringing that pressure. Careful you don't get it in your eyes when you do this. If it's mostly smart, just air right now. If you're smart, you'll wear uh, eye protection, but... There's no not. OSHA here. <laughs> OSHA, who's that? Your throttle body is off. Now you can make room for the new one. This is the fuel line that we were referring to earlier that you pulled that clip off of. And when you remove the throttle body, you wanna make sure you pull up and out. That way you clear the fuel line. If you need to, to make room, you could loosen it right here. And that'll give you some more, more play. It's clean up time. Go ahead and plug your intake holes and get your carb cleaner, spray off and get everything nice and clean so that you can eat off it. Like we said, it's clean enough to eat off of. All right, look at that. Huh. If you're enjoying the video so far, please use the links in the description when it's time to purchase parts for your car. Not sure what you need? Visit our webpage and you'll have access to categorized parts lists with instructional videos for your project. In doing so, you're supporting those who support Fatboy's Garage. It's a quick, easy way to help us continue to create quality content that is going to help you with your own projects. We love our cars and we only use the best parts, which are the ones we recommend to you. We chose our supplier because of their amazing customer support and we are confident you'll be well taken care of by them.